Hi, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to take your Teams recordings, edit them and share them as a single file with your students, for example, or just sharing them with a clickable link or even on social media. All right, so I've been presenting a lecture to a class and I'm done now. I'll say stop sharing and I'll also say stop the recording. So the first thing is where do these files go? All right, so I go to the chat icon in my Microsoft Teams app. I click on the chat, which was actually the Teams meeting that I was recording. And then in the chat, I will see the recordings option. So if I click on this, it takes me to this window. Now, in this case, there were two recordings and I'm gonna demonstrate how to take these two Two recordings edit them and also make it one file the reason why there are two parts here it says part one and part two is because in this class i had stopped the recording and then i realized i wanted to continue the recording this could be if there was a disconnection in the internet for example or if there was a toilet break or if you had the lecture and then you continued a little bit later or even on a different day every time you carry on using the teams link maybe even on a different day and you record that session again it will show up as part one, part two, part three, part four. Now, maybe you want to consolidate that into a single file. I'm going to demonstrate how to get those files, how to quickly edit them and how to share them. All right, I click on part one and I say open in Teams. This is in the top right hand corner here. All right, this is the lecture. This is part one of the lecture. So I'm just going to pull this a little bit lower and I'm going to click on part two. And then I'm also going to say open in streams. There we can see two tabs have opened in my web browser. And at the back here, this is the Teams app. I no longer need it. I can just close it. So now I'm just using the web browser and I have the first part and the second part. There were two recordings for this particular lecture. Right, so I want to now take these two recordings and I want to be able to edit them because I don't want this stuff in the beginning. I also don't want this stuff on the side here. I want to cut this out. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, many of you might say, well, what about the share link on the side here? Yes, there is a share option there. And if I say share, unfortunately, this is fraught with permissions and you'll have to send this via an email to your participants or you can share the link, but there are permissions and OTPs, etc and it will only share the one recording. It won't be able to share both your recordings and it will be an unedited file. And the point of this video is to show you how to actually edit this and then combine it with the other recording and then share it. So there's a bit of editing that needs to be done. So the very first step now is to actually download. All right, so for the first recording from this Teams meeting, I'm going to click on the three dots and say download. I'm gonna say download and it's gonna open up a window where I can save the file. Now I'm just gonna call this vid1 and I'm gonna say save. And now I go to the second stream because in this case I had two parts to this Teams meeting. So I'm gonna say download and it's gonna take me to the same folder. Notice it does have a proposed file name which is the title of the meeting. And I'm just gonna convert that. I wanna call it a video two because I had two parts to my recording. Meaning I had pressed record on my Teams app and then stopped recording. And then later I came back and then started recording. So I'm gonna now show you how to deal with those files. Right, these are the two files which I downloaded. So this is video one and video two. If I quickly just preview the video to you. So I'm just gonna preview it to you. Notice that it's got this introduction. I don't want that. So I would wanna edit that out. And the lecture only started maybe when the screen was shown in full view there. And I also wanna edit out the stuff on the side here. I don't want that. In the middle, there was a time here where I was changing screens. I went to a different window and notice I wanna remove this as well. So we can see that this is the raw file. And there was another video as well and same problem. So I want to be able to consolidate these videos and also edit out the parts that I don't need. So these were two lectures and I'm now going to show you how to take these two Teams recordings, edit them and prepare them to share them in a more professional manner. I'm going to use software called Microsoft ClipChamp. It's free and I just say plus here and it's going to open a canvas here for me to drag my items in. So notice that on the left hand side here, there's a space that says your media and there are my two Teams recordings which I'm now going to edit. So I have the two recordings, all I have to do is drag it to the timeline and there are my two recordings. Just imagine each one was maybe a full recording of maybe 45 minutes. Obviously this is just a demonstration, so these are shorter files. Okay, so I have my two recordings. Now the very first thing I want to demonstrate is we don't want this stuff in the beginning. Usually a Teams recording has all this, the landing screen, etc. So what I did is I just took my cursor and I grabbed the side of the clip and I'm just trimming it. Notice it's previewing it in the window here and if I click here, if I bring the cursor here, notice that 
that was probably where the lecture started. So of course you can press play by using the spacebar or just pressing play there. And when you press play, you can decide where your lecture started. So in this case, I believe my lecture started just about there. So straight away, I've removed the part of the lecture I don't want. So I can just drag this to the left because this is now the beginning of the video. Now something else, because this was a Teams recording, we've got this stuff on the side here. We don't want that black part there. So I'm just going to stretch the clip. Notice that I'm pulling down here. So I can just maneuver this so that only the PowerPoint presentation is being shown in the preview window. So there we go. So I've effectively removed the team's data that was around the side. And there we go. I've now got a clear PowerPoint presentation. But over here, we had a problem because I left my PowerPoint. So I want to just zoom into the time base on the bottom right here. I can just zoom in. And I just want to see where I stopped. Yes, it was over there. So I need to split this team's recording clip. So what I do is I press S exactly where the cursor was. What you can also do is drag the cursor to where you want to split the clip. And at that point, right click it and just say split. There, I right click and I say split. So I've now got three clips here. And this one in the middle, I don't want it. This was when I was changing from one PowerPoint to another. And this is like dead time. So I'm just gonna press delete. I can press delete on my keyboard or I can just go over here and select delete. So I've now removed the parts of the Teams meeting that was not usable or not useful to me. So there we go. So I've showed you how to do some basic editing there. But what happened to that other clip? Remember that I wanted to join the other recording that was part of that same lecture. So I can also just trim that part. I just wanted to get to the part where I was presenting. Yes, there was a vehicle that was part of my lecture. So now what I've done is I've removed that beginning part and I want to remove the end part. So I'm just going to shorten. Often on a Teams recording, we've got the stuff at the end we don't need. And there we go. That was the end of my lecture where I was finished talking about this car. But of course, I also want to just resize this. I only want the vehicle. I don't want all this other stuff. So notice how I'm resizing this. Of course, you can move this around accordingly. So that's all I want. I want just that vehicle. So now what what I've got is a cleaner version of my lecture. It doesn't have those intros, it doesn't have the team's landing screen. And there we can see it's also removed that stuff on the side which showed the participants. Now, while we're here, I'll just quickly show you, maybe you wanna label something in your video. I'm just gonna grab on the left here and grab some text and just grab it onto my timeline. So there is my timeline. So there is the text. If I click on it, notice that I can now edit this. And I just want to write here, your new car. And I can resize this so we can do some basic editing here while we are creating our new lecture. So, of course, as an educator, you would want to add text in places. So you can obviously move this around. You might even want an introduction to your video. You might have something in the beginning. So I've shown you now how to add some text if you want to have some transitions. Sometimes people like a bit of a transition. So I'm just going to shorten this a little bit. Um, that lecture ended about there. And... I wanted to go from the one part to the other with some effect. So I click on the word transition. These are some effects here. And I'm going to just use these horizontal bars because I'm going to a different topic here. So I'm leaving the lecture and watch the horizontal bars now. Yeah, so there we see. Look at the horizontal bars. Okay, so I've demonstrated how to also add some transitions. So maybe you want to add an image or even a logo, for example. So I'm just going to go back to my media. It says your media there. And I'm just going to drag a logo into the media section there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to my time base. And I want this logo to be present across the whole video, maybe it's your university. All right, so all I need to do is just resize it. So this could be a logo and notice how I just place that in the corner there. And from the beginning, we can see that that logo is present. So I've demonstrated how to add an image on top of your video. I've demonstrated how to add some text if you want some text. All right, so you have your recording now and I'm just gonna show you there are some additional effects here on the side. And I just wanna show you one which says speed. So if you click on speed, because I've got this clip highlighted, it will allow me to speed up. It'll speed up the video and the audio and then it's sped up by 10%. Why that's useful is often we want to speed up the video. It just comes across better once we render it. Render it means making it one video. So of course you'll need to play and um, actually preview the audio, make sure it still sounds good. And there are some additional effects here. You can fade in, fade out. You can also adjust the volume of your track. If, if your track was a bit soft, you can increase the volume and you can even add a voiceover at the bottom. All right, so this is just some basic editing and I'm going to make sure that I can see my whole time base here. And I'm just gonna highlight everything and I'm not gonna say export. And the resolution I'm gonna use is 1080. And the reason for 1080 is because I recorded it as 1080. I can't render it at 4K if the video quality wasn't 4K. It has to be rendered. Rendered means bringing the file all together. I have to render in the same quality 
that I recorded. Otherwise, it's almost like a false advertisement. It's not going to suddenly generate 4K quality from a 1080 file. So what happens here is it's now making this all one video. So this will now be ready for my students. Notice how much cleaner it is than the way it was. And there is the file. I can go to the folder and I've just copied that and placed it in my original folder where I was saving my Teams lectures. All right, so that was the original Teams lecture. Notice this is how it looked. It had that introduction. It had the parts we didn't want. And then there was the second part of that video because I had two parts of that same lecture, video one, video two. And this is now the edited version. Notice that it is now cleaner. Notice that the video hasn't got those parts we don't want. And then it goes straight. There was a little transition here and then uh, there was that text. Okay, so that's some basic editing, and now it's time to share this. So I can now rename this, and I've got now a cleaner version of those Teams lectures. If you wanna share this just using a link, of course, you can share it on OneDrive, and then I will just say share, and I'll just click here for viewer access only. That means that the students will not be able to delete the file. So that means I can now just copy a link here and this can be shared to the students via WhatsApp, or whatever method you would like. But you might also wanna share it on social media. Then on YouTube, I'll just say create, upload videos. And then I'll drag that into the window and then I can share it on social media. I don't have to share it publicly. So now that it's being uploaded to social media, I can give it a nice title and I can just go here. I'm not gonna monetize this. And um, then I can just go next, next, next. And I only want the students to be able to see this. This is not gonna be shared publicly. So I keep it as an unlisted video and there will be the link. And once it's been uploaded to YouTube, so there is the link if I want anyone to watch it. I can say save, it's unlisted. It's an unlisted video, but if someone has this link, they will be able to go just to this video. But remember that the video will not be publicly available because I shared it as an unlisted video. I've demonstrated how to take the Microsoft Teams videos, do some basic editing, and then share it with your students, even online.